welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another grocery haul. So I have a huge grocery haul. I think this is maybe about 16 meals, maybe a little bit more than that. And I'll explain everything to you, but it is huge. So I went to Food Lion, which is like a regular grocery store, and I went to Aldi's. So I went to Aldi's first. Whatever I couldn't find at Aldi's, we ended up getting at Food Lion. We spent $279, I think, at Aldi, and about $100 at Food Lion. Um, but this is food that's gonna last for over two weeks, and I'm having to feed uh, a large crowd on two different occasions so you know how that is and that kind of adds up so let me just get to it and show you guys what I got if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss any time I upload a video so this is my Aldi haul and I have some on my dining room table so I will go through and show you guys exactly what I got so we'll start over here. I got a couple things of tortillas, one to make some breakfast burritos, one to make chimichangas. I'll link that recipe video here if you haven't seen it. Such a quick and easy meal. I got some non bread. I really like this mini non bread. It's really, really good. I think it's like $2.79, so it's a little on the pricey side, I actually think. But it's really good, really good with hummus. So it's kind of my little cheat type of thing. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of cheating lately, but I did try to give myself the most simplest meal plan I can, and at the end of the video, I'll show you my meal plan. So I got one thing of sugar. It wasn't necessarily out of sugar, but I didn't want to run out. So I grabbed it while I was there. I grabbed two things of flour because on two separate occasions, I'm actually making probably more like three separate occasions I'm making some bread. And I will link my bread video, the one that I love, and I'll be making a new one here very soon. I got two things of egg noodles. These are not facing the right way, but that's okay. Back behind it is some croutons and some bugles. So this was actually spur of the moment. I just thought, I wonder if my kids ever had those. Um, I got one loaf of bread just for sandwiches. I grabbed these refried beans because the other night I made like kind of like a mock chipotle bowl and we didn't have any beans. So I thought I would get a big stash of them. These were like less than three dollars for this huge thing so i got those eggs were a little more expensive at aldi today they were dollar 14 so i got just two dozen but my kid loves like we actually make like a hot breakfast in the morning about 95 percent of the time so he doesn't like cereal or anything so a lot of times he eats eggs and toast so i always like to have those on hand and i like to eat hard boiled eggs in the morning uh this was something that racked up my bill a little bit these were two dollars a piece but for some reason, I don't know if you guys are like this in your homeschool, but my kid has been complaining that there wasn't stuff that he wanted, I guess, to eat for lunch. So um, I asked him, what do you want? He said, I want Lunchables. So I got these. They were the same price as the regular Lunchables. So um, they were $1.99, which I thought was kind of expensive, but at least it seems like a better version. Uh, he wants talking about better versions he wanted to make rice crispy treats so yeah that's all kinds of unhealthy but fun and you're only a kid once right and he requested some cookies so he loves these he calls them striped cookies he always has since he's little back here I always buy these for myself they're vegetable chips and oh my gosh they're at Aldi's they're like two dollars they're so good just try them they're really good I was super skeptical but they're so good I got some roasted almonds and sunflower seeds. The almonds I eat as a snack, the sunflower seeds I usually put on um, salads. And dried cherries on salads, and I got some bacon bits for salads. Uh, just got some peanuts for a, a snack for my guys. I got like five boxes of mac and cheese, just if I have on hand. You always need a mama stash of mac and cheese, right? And of course, it's the 33 cent kind. So we need some more mayonnaise, so I went ahead and got that, and I got just the cheapest barbecue sauce I could find uh, because I have a really good recipe. I don't think I have a video on it, but it's some chicken I do in the crock pot, and I love having honey barbecue. This was actually only 95 cents, and I feel like when you're putting something in the crock pot, you can go with like these cheaper items because once you're cooking it for so long all day, 
you can't tell the difference if it's Sweet Baby Ray's or, you know, generic great value brand. Like, you can't tell. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to just get the cheaper one. I got my little guy some applesauce, hopefully give him some other options for lunch. This is one of my favorite hummuses, olive um, tapenada. I really, really like it, and I really like their classic. Unfortunately, they didn't have their classic. Got some Parmesan cheese. I really want to try. I saw A Country Life and Mandy in the Making make uh, some fettuccine alfredo, and my guys love fettuccine alfredo. So, I really wanted to try it. I was going to get the thing and shred it, and this same brand had, like, the block, and I had it in my cart, and then I realized this was cheaper. It was, you only needed five ounces, and this was six ounces. The blocks were eight ounces. So, I thought, I'm going to get that. Um, mozzarella cheese, because we're going to make some homemade pizza one night, and three things of Colby Jack cheese, because I have a ton of recipes that just need cheese. So... Yep, that's what I got there. Back here, almond milk. This is some soy sauce because I was completely out and kept needing some, wanting some. Uh, this is some vegetable oil peeking out and I was completely out so I went ahead and got that. And uh, extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar. I was completely out of both. So I just, they're kind of expensive but what can you do? Uh, some... Parmesan cheese, shaky cheese for spaghetti and whatnot. Got some heavy whipping cream, and they just had the little ones at my Aldi's, so I got that. I got some butter. This is probably more than we need on both of these, but I just didn't want to run out, and I wanted to be able to make whatever I wanted to make. Got some cottage cheese. I thought I got two of these, but I've only found one, so I have to go look in my car. But I have a noodle bake. It's a Pioneer Woman recipe where I use it, and I'm actually uh, making that for a family um, as a like a take gift for them uh, for dinner one night. So I wanted to make sure I had enough evaporated milk for or for bread that I make, and I got this kind of pasta because. The Country Life, when I was watching her make the Alfredo pasta, she actually used the little bow ties or the Fairfell, and it looked really good, so I wanted to try it. Got some cheese, because we had ham, we just didn't have bread and cheese, so we can have some sandwiches. Got three sour creams, and then, um, and that is really like for this noodle bake that I'm gonna make twice, one to give away, one to keep for us, and for tacos and things like that. So it looks like kind of a lot, but it's not. They're 89 cents at Aldi's, so I don't mind paying that price for them. Got some zucchinis and some squash. Love both of these. And then we move on to my fresh stuff. I really was excited to get a lot more vegetables and fresh stuff on hand, and I was just like, it all sounded so good. I must have been hungry. So got some bananas, those are some blueberry muffins I made and some donuts I got this morning. So the fun, right? Uh, cabbage, just because that sounded really good. An Asian chopped salad, there's spring mix under here. I'll be to the rescue with the cottage cheese. Yay! So three cucumbers. Um, I really like the ones in the vacuum seal and I feel like they're good anywhere I get them. I feel like they stay fresher in the vacuum seal one and I think the English cucumbers are not as tart either. So my kid loves it, it's great. Went ahead and got Brussels sprouts just for my, just for myself and um, a side for dinner probably, so it'll probably be like half and half. And asparagus, the same thing. I actually went to Food Lion and the asparagus looked a lot better, so I was kind of bummed that I had already bought it, but it will be good either way. Carrots for a roast that I'm actually making when I'm having some people over for dinner and I'm making like a red wine roast and it's a pioneer woman recipe it's amazing y'all and so I'm not I might use baby carrots for that too my guys will just like legit grab one of these like Bugs Bunny and eat them uh green beans because I've been roasting those a whole bunch loving them and oh yeah there's my spring mix so you can see it celery because I needed it for my roast uh, strawberries because they were a really really good price. They were $1.79. When I went to Food Lion they were two for four as well so I was like cannot resist. So got strawberries. Got four things of mushrooms. 
two of them. Well, these did not look very full. And so that's why I kind of got four. I'm actually making like a lemon pasta that um, I call it Rachel's pasta because the girl who gave it to me, the recipe, her name was Rachel. And so one of the times that I'm actually making a meal for somebody, I'm making kind of like a kid's dish and an adult dish because it's for about 10 people. And so I'm gonna make them like the noodle bake for the kids and then I'm gonna make a lemon pasta for the adults. So that's where I kind of got that. And for, we could have one one night as well. I really like the mushrooms in that. So it's like my favorite part. So that's why I wanted to make sure I had enough. So, sorry y'all, it's like 8 o'clock at night, so it's like 8.30 at night, so sorry for the shadows, but I got a mango just because I wanted one. Blackberries because that's my like go-to snack. I love a blackberry. These are my favorite kind of tomatoes, and I needed some for, oh my gosh, so many things. Salads that I've been eating for lunch, and that's why I got so much spring mix too, and we'll, we'll have salads before dinner a lot of times, and... I needed two at least for the pasta that I was telling you about as well. As far as spices go, I got some beef bouillon because I wasn't 100% sure if I had it. And it was about $1.50. So I thought, you know what, for $1.50, I'm just going to make sure I have it. Because I needed some for uh, Salisbury steak and for beef broth during my red wine roast that I'm going to make. Uh, I have been watching Crocs in the Kitchen, and they talk about a whole plant-based diet. So I've been kind of converting slowly, and they talk about this seasoning that they put on vegetables, and I was like, I'm going to get some because that sounds really good. And I was out of cumin, so I grabbed cumin. Back here, I got two things of kombucha. I have never tried this in my life, but... I wanted to try it. I think they were about $3 each, so it was a little bit of a splurge. I really like drinks that are like more on the red side. So I'll let you guys know. I think this is berry and this one says like blood orange and rose. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll like it, but I really wanted to try it because it sounds like something I would like. Uh, got some almond milk creamer because I see people use this all the time. So I really wanted to try it and I'm I love almond milk like in my smoothies and things like that. So I'm gonna try it out. So this is the other half of my haul. It's the meat and the fresh vegetables that would not fit on my counter. So had to get some, actually I got these at Food Lion, <laughs> these paper towels, but the rest of this I did get from Aldi. Yeah, I did. So lemons because I needed lemons from that pasta that I make and just for water and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and got a whole bag. My husband wanted some of these oranges. So I haven't bought regular oranges in a really long time. I usually just buy mandarins. And I did buy those too, but he wanted these. So I said, why not? So two bags of potatoes because I wasn't sure if one would be enough. And I just had recipes that I just wasn't 100% sure and so I really wanted to make sure I had enough and um, got a spaghetti squash because I really wanted to try that for myself so I just got a little one these pears looked amazing look at that color on those pears oh my gosh they look so good so I got those um, went ahead and got some gala apples gala is actually my favorite kind of apple I really want to try honey crisp I just haven't got around to it but we haven't had apples in a while, so I want to make sure that we eat those and use those. And now it's on to the meat. Like I said, this is meat for about 16 meals, plus I'm taking them two different meals um, to two different friends. So this is for the roast that I'm going to make. So it's just a truck roast and it looked really good. And it was about four pounds and I thought this looked really good and seemed like a good product and yeah so I went ahead and went with that it was a little pricey as you guys know like roasts are kind of pricey I think it was yeah $16 but we're having company so that's what that's for um, I got a thing of pork chops they were only $3.50 actually and um, I make a fried pork chop recipe that I will link here and I love those um, easy quick dinner there's only three of us and last time I made it nobody ate the fourth pork chop so I got three but even if you had to buy two of these I feel like that's still a good deal for me these I got for the chicken alfredo I thought it and I did get two of these but I only got one out um, because we're gonna have it on two different occasions and um, 
yeah, they were only $5. I thought that was really good. And that's what both Country Life and Mandy in the Making, they use the tenderloins instead of like the breasts for the Alfredo. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. I got two things of turkey and I've never bought really any meat from Aldi. So this is kind of like a, let me see if it works. It looks like it's a better natural product and I'm usually going in and buying like organic and organic. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see if this is better. It prevented me from going to more stores. I got two things of ground beef for two nights of tacos and, or I got two things of turkey for two nights of tacos, two things of ground beef, um, but these are actually two pounds a piece. So I really only needed three pounds of meat, but they came in two pound things. So I have to actually cut them. So we'll see how that goes. I got um, a bag of onions here and some chicken breast. So I think I got, I ended up getting four or five packets of chicken breast, but I actually don't have to split these. I can just use one of these for a meal. This is my Food Lion haul and my camera is dying. So let's see how fast I can do this. So we love this Fairfield milk. Oh my gosh, if you have any lactose issues, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it. People make yogurt out of this and say it's amazing too in the Instant Pot. I got um, corn tortillas and these are for, um, some taquitos that I want to make and I can't remember what else. Uh, two more things of cucumbers because uh, we'll just eat these as snacks. Uh, basil and that's for the lemon chicken pasta that I make and I need it for one other recipe I can't remember. And then uh, rosemary and thyme I got those for the red wine uh, roast that I'm making. This is what I use for homemade pizza crust. I haven't done it for years. Oh my gosh, so many years, but we were talking about it, so I wanted to do it again. Got some regular coffee creamer, just in case. Got some coffee, because I was completely out, and this stuff was on sale, so I just went for it. I okay, so I'm back by camera. My camera is plugged in now, so we're good. Um, yeah, I was telling you guys I got coffee. Uh, my kid loves Eggos, so I always just have those on hand just for when I don't want to. That's why I said about 95% of the time. But still, I guess that's considered a hot breakfast. I don't know. It's not the best thing for you. Pepperoni for the pizza. Um, I got two different yeasts because two different breads that I make. So one ends needs instant yeast, one needs regular yeast, I guess you would call it. And so, yeah, I got both of those. This, I just saw them and wanted them. So, if you guys, do you guys do that too? I just wanted them. Um, this is something I love, like the boysenberry, blackberry type of jam. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that. And I love it on toast. And then the orange marmalade actually goes for the red wine roast that I'm making. See, that's why I don't make it a lot because I it's a lot of ingredients and the meat is kind of expensive so it's a kind of a special thing. I got olives just for me because we were on that aisle and I like to have those. Um, tomato paste was for a recipe, evaporated milk was for a recipe. Oh, but I, I guess I ended up having two. Dang it. Oh well. Uh, this is actually for the baked chimichangas. I usually get mild though but I love this salsa. They carried out um, Walmart and I found mine at Food Lion because I didn't go to Walmart. But I usually get the mild for the chimichangas and I love it. I feel like it makes all the difference. This is my favorite type of spaghetti sauce. I love the spaghetti sauce. Um, the olive oil, basil, and garlic from Bertoli. I got three of them because I knew I'd probably do two nights of spaghetti. And then I think I got some tortellini somewhere too. Yeah, I got some tortellini. So. Um, just in case, pizza sauce. So I got some cooking red wine. Um, I just don't have alcohol in hand. It's just something we never buy, like no judgment or anything like that. It's just not something we ever buy. Like I just don't have it in the house. So this is actually way cheaper. And when you're cooking it in a recipe, I feel like it really doesn't matter when you buy like a good wine or anything like that because you're cooking all of it out. So I always just get cooking wine and it's like three bucks, so easy. But if you're gonna like drink the rest of the bottle, then hey, you should probably get the nice one. <laughs> um, the lettuce for tacos. So I got some uh, romaine because in one of the meals that I'm taking to a friend, I wanted a salad as well. 
uh, Cheez-Its because those have been a very popular thing in my household. I have no idea why, but we've been, all been loving them. Uh, always have this on hand. That's my favorite cereal. My kid doesn't like cereal, so we really don't have much more than that on hand. Sometimes my husband gets one. I got some broccoli for the fettuccine alfredo, and I actually like steaming it in the microwave with a little bit of lemon pepper. Oh my gosh, easiest, coolest. I don't know why I haven't been doing that for years. Got some red or some green onions, and this is for that noodle bake. It's like the best easy recipe. My kid loves it. Um, mandarin oranges. And I always get these at the grocery store or at Walmart. I feel like all these mandarin oranges are not good. I have no idea why. We just do not have a good relationship with those mandarins. So maybe your Aldi's does, but mine just isn't very good. Some Texas toast for some of those different Italian nights. Uh, my kid uh, loved this pasta side the other night and so I thought this would be really good when we made like pork chops or something like that so we can have like a rice side that's pretty easy and this was just a splurge item because I was at that special grocery store and they don't carry it everywhere so me and my son really like raspberry pop tarts um, I grabbed him two more Lunchables just so we would have enough to kind of space out for the next couple weeks and then I wouldn't have to hear about it anymore. And then I actually got these because I've been trying to edit and do stuff and um, sometimes it's hard because he wants like a home cooked breakfast and a home cooked lunch because I've always done that for him. So I think he doesn't really know different options I guess you could say so I went ahead and got these kind of pancakes I know they're that's a weird thing and I could just make a bunch of my own but I'm gonna see how they reheat and then if it works well I'll probably make like a batch myself so I kind of did this as a test run and because a lot of times he likes and orange juice my guys are huge into orange juice so that is my food line haul. Isn't this huge, y'all? Oh my gosh. So that is my grocery haul. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I know, it's huge. But, and it was expensive, but it, it was a little bit more than what I would normally spend. Um, but I am feeding two large crowds twice. So it's not even just once, it's twice. And so, yeah, I think sometimes when that happens, you just have to be thankful for the fact that like you can bless somebody and that God gave you the ability to be able to bless that other person. And I feel like, you know what? Sometimes we don't appreciate that as much as we probably should. So I really wanted to remember that as I look at the bill thinking, oh my gosh, it's kind of high. But I do account for the fact that these are most of them breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next two weeks plus more dinners than I would normally plan for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will link everything down below that I talked about if I have a video to it. And I think I need to get to work on some videos and show you guys some more recipes because I am like going around realizing that I might not have showed you guys all the good recipes. So gotta get on that. But I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.